Looks like we are finally ready for to get in this matchup. As C Knights and Indiana are on the respective sides I've been told they're gonna be on. I hope I spelled Indiana Indiana right, because it doesn't look like I did, but maybe I did. But we're gonna be getting off this first matchup. And Indiana already trying to be on the assault here. Looking good. But now Cena putting them straight back into their on, on their defense and faded. It's gonna find the first goal of the game pretty early on. And Bubba just couldn't find a touch, he's gonna backflip off that and cannot find it. Bub, I mean, I don't, his new teammates are new, I think, if they're literally just rebrands, but, um, no, I mean, Bub was definitely a really, like, fun player to play against and a really good player, um, last fall, but, uh, um, I don't know if I remember his other two players, I mean, they might be the same players, I just don't remember, but, they look to be getting off to a slow start. As Cena Heights coming off a very good weekend and Faded's gonna hit that shot across the crossbar. Bob looking for the double. To 11, 11 can't convert. And Faded's gonna try to keep us in. 11, back to Faded, Faded's gonna miss that though. And Cena already trying it with the pass plays, but still not able to find them. And in the attack, have to be find themselves here. And they can't find the save as 11 puts in a quick double. And two, not that it's Cena Heights in early in game one. Well, that's just really fast from 11, and just really not what you can do about that if you're Silix. And Dana Heights, not even a minute into the game, and already two goals up. It is looking up for them. India Tech still looking to just get to the pace that they need to to, you know, defend the Cena Heights side. But with demo, it's gonna change all of that. As faded, it's gonna an easy pass for 11 here, across the backboard, and Bob with the demo didn't even want to take the shot. It faded. The deal put it away. Open net. And two goals quickly turns to a three goal lead. Sienna Heights are looking to just be a force in this game. And Indian Tech is going to have trouble. Bub is there to put on the pressure. Eleven quickly gets off to the other side. Faded now downfield. And an old goal from the orange side. Not good looks from the other team. And Indian Tech. It's a bit unfortunate, and as they're not able to really get the touches there that they need, and see the heights, four goal lead here in game one. And the attack has to keep their mental high, as if they don't, it's gonna be a long series. Did I mention that we have another series after this? I think we have we have four matches total across all of our Rock League teams today. Um, only two I think will be streamed, but we'll see. As faded, oh my gosh, it's faded. It'll put that in for a five goal lead. And he's just gonna put it up to himself. And there's India defense is just nowhere to be found. A flip reset, too. And faded, looking so good already. Sienna Heights, unstoppable. Just running circles around India Tech right now. India Tech still can't find their steps they need. As Bob. Puts a touch to himself. Another touch over. Crossbar down. It's going to find its way in. Bob beats the Tech to the ball. And there's not much you can do about that. Two players from Indiana Tech go up. They both get beat. And Bob barely gets in the net by a thin margin. And a minute and a half. A minute and 40. I guess 39 seconds. Cena Heights up six goals. This is the biggest scoreline so far for Cena Heights. And oh my gosh. 11's going to miss that. But faded. Try to drop this down, cannot find it. It's Cedar Heights look like they finally found their play style that they're confident with. They struggle all season to just get a consistent play style with each other. But now they're just looking as good as ever. Come off of a land. And I mean everybody was asleep in the car ride back and everybody was in the car about two hours ago. Long car ride back from Pennsylvania. But they're back in it, and they're here to compete. And that's gonna be a good shot for Bob, just a looming shot, but they're able to save. Oh, 11 with a fake. Fakes for Faded, no fakes of himself. Faded goes for a bump, can't find it. Now he turns back, Faded with the shot, Faded! He's gonna put it in, seven goal lead, not even halfway through the game. Yeah, Faded tries to go for the bump there. He's gonna wrap around again, and he's gonna get a nice touch. It's gonna go front post, and no one's ready for any attack side. Seven goal lead for Siena Heights here.
Just trying to rack up those stats at this point. I think Indiana Tech has given up this game. But they're trying to figure out what they need to do differently for the rest of the series. I don't know, maybe they're able to find something. It's Plasma Matrix! Can't find it! And what a save from Bayard, actually. I brain didn't even process that. I thought that was going in. Bayard pass out to 11. 11. On the wall, Bob fakes. Now 11. Try to take it to himself. Flip reset. Pass another. Another flip reset. 11. Always gets past another. Zen Heights is looking so good. And everybody's up for that 11. He's somehow able to find the touch. And it goes in the net. I don't know if he got a bump in that or what. That just looked like such a weird touch. Oh no. Wow. 11. What a shot. Zen Heights styling on this idiot tech side. Have so much room to work with, and India Tech needs to shut that gap down. But it's looking like it's going to be really hard for them. I see Heights is keeping the pressure up. Nine goal lead. Bob. What a shot. Again. And what a shot it was. Top corner. I mean, Cena Heights is hitting today. And India Tech. Struggle to find their shots. I think they have one or two shots this whole series. It's been a high offense game, but mainly for Seattle Heights. That's faded. Tries to drop another one down, but Bub, a great save to get to that. 11. Gets a good angle, but Plast Matrix does get there. But Fade is up for it again. Fade looking for the 10th goal, no pass out to Bob. But India Tech are able to clear out momentarily, but it be back at their side. As Seattle Heights. Struggle to keep Cobbs here. Keep the chemistry going. Bob. Oh, that's a great turn for Bob. A little Kurobi turn there. An ex teammate might have taught him that. Ooh, Bob. Let's get them on Bob. That could open another spot. They could bump, but 11 is able to get there. And it looked like that was the goal for Nia Tech. But somehow, Cena Heights' rotation just keeps strong. And they can't find a gap through him. Oh, Faded does a really good touch past Bub. But Plasma Matrix is there. Are they going to find a way in? Yes, they are. India Tech find one back, finally. And Faded does it for the she wants. I think he runs out of boost there. And just didn't mispredict it. And Bob and Eleven already pushed up field for the downfield pass. And not able to find it. Seeing the heights. 9-1 to one here. India Tech finally found their goal. Can they find another one? And it was pretty much not winnable. But, can they find another one? Or Cena Heights, get to shut them out here. Cena Heights been looking so good, as I said and said again. But now, there's, they really just look like a top three team in the country. Oh, that's a good shot. They're going to find another one. As India Tech starting to rev up here. Went from 9-0 to 9-2 in about 40, 30 seconds. And Bob Plast Matrix does find a good touch there, and I think Plast does just fake out a touch there. It does mess up the defense for Yassine Heights, and they're going to find one more back, but I think that's all they're going to get as 11 back on the attack. They might score another one here, Faded. Back up for 11, doesn't have a touch, Faded gets it again. Faded to Bob, Bob, tries to put it through, it's going to be a good save though. And I think they're just going to opt for the kill, and Yassine Heights are going to win the first match in this series. And it's just good looks from the Seattle Heights side. That's the first time I've ever done that. Oh, did I mess it up? There's no way. No, I think we're good actually. I just need to reset kick off. Whoopsie. Oh my, what is my game doing? Oh, you got my respawn. That's why I messed up. Holy. A little bit of a scare. But I think we're good. I don't know. They can play an island, so I don't think they messed up. <laughs> there you go. As, oh, okay. They give it back to Fade because the kickoff was messed up. Oof. Um, my bad, guys. My bad. Okay, now, now that, hey, it's like 0-0 zero, zero now. It's like 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay, listen. Listen. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Alright, and now we're finally ready to start this first matchup. 
as that one is going to try to find its way through, but Selix is there. Dan Hyde still trying to put on this attack. Bob trying to put the faded, faded. Can't find the shot either. There's 11 fakes too. Faded, good turn. 11 look for a demo. Doesn't need it, and he's going to find a touch. A little goal steal from 11 and 11. Two goals now for Stephen Heights. I guess only technically one. Because I don't know if Rakai was first two or what happened with those. But Stephen Heights back in the lead again. Faded now to himself. Another touch and another touch. Faded. Trying to put it past the whole defense himself, but can't find a touch to get past the defense, really. And oh, Bob, Bob can. Bob, a quick double tap off of the backboard, and Bob, great stuff from him. Had plenty of boost here, and he just needs to get to flip into the ball, and a touchdown follows it beautifully. And Cedar Heights looking like they're in control of the game again. Oh, this would be a good save from Bob, but Bob and Faded just connect there perfectly. And well, I think it was trying to find a bump, but couldn't find it. No one is in net. Bob quickly races back. It was a good attempt, but Bob, beautiful read from him. Oh, faded. That's a great pass from 11 to faded. Faded already down the field. Was ready for it. 11 just begs it straight to him. And faded just had a touchdown. I think he was looking for the pass, but it's just going to find his way straight in. And Cedar Heights off to a four goal lead here. And Cedar Heights trying to Spanish kickoff. That's going to give him possession at 11. Almost puts that one away. But cannot convert. Bob down for 11. 11 shot across the crossbar. And Faded now zooming in to find it. But 11. And Faded, I think, both touch it. And I think it messed up their chance of scoring there. Oh, Bob just found a good demo, though. For his teammates. Have to get this out to him. I'm struggling as Cena Heights is able to keep it in. That's there for 11 and Bob. 11 and Bob both go up here. Playing the same line. They're both there. Eleven drops it down though. And the fake from Bob leads eleven with the shot and six to one now for them. <laughs> I think they're both trying to hit it to be honest, but I think eleven just beat him to it. And Bob I might have even a punch on the shoulder for that, I'm not gonna lie. Bob long shot, it's gonna miss the mark. There's Levin on the wall here. Faded is going to take it. And Faded fakes. Eleven to Bob. Bob pre-jumps it. Pre-jumps wrongly. As Bob tries to place a shot himself. It's going to find its way in. Bob finds him back for any attack. It's Cedar Heights. Struggling to find the touches there. Bob misses twice and just can't get back to the last touch. And Faded can't either. And Cedar Heights caught out there. But looking to rebound here. Just get a bigger scoreline. And just keep the one they have. Indiana Tech will try to extend their lead. But oh my, faded. Just so quick again. I I just noticed he was up for that and then he's already putting it away. Living with a little bit of fake to a bump, but missed the bump on bump, but faded. Is it a convert again? 7 to 2 here for Cena Heights. Only two minutes into this and we have nine goals. This has to be like a whack record or something, right? It's crazy and oh my gosh. Finds way in this almost again, but Selix still there. Cena Heights, it looks like they have this magnet on the ball and it's like wherever they hit the ball is it's automatically gravitates to the net. But Bob uh, looking to pass this off to a teammate. Bob does try to set it down and Faye does reach it, but now in the corner he's gonna have to have some defenders to beat off the ceiling to himself, but a little bit of panic for the defense, and Bob is able to clear it off. Eleven is waiting in net for that, cannot reach it. As last 
He's able to center it. Having long clear. One up for them. Faded to Bob. Bob can't find it. It was a great play from Sienna Heights there, actually. That would have been absolutely nuts if they found that. Sienna Heights is trying a little bit of a different, ta different tactic where they just put them weights at net. It's usually 11 right now. Just weights at net for the ball. And you no, know, I'm really playing everywhere. Just we have a defender role player. And it's a bit different. I haven't seen that since like season two of the RLCS. Okay, let's put this to Bob. Now Bob trying himself to demo. Can't find another one. Bob's gonna be up for this. Good for a shot, but still denied for Faded. And now haven't had a goal for a while. Bob doesn't make it last much longer. Eight to two for Sienna Heights, and Faded has a great touch and another one. And Bob goes up for a great comms from Sienna Heights. He's able to reject you in the net. Cena Heights. Again, so good from them. None of the matches from Hewputs were streamed, but oh my gosh, they played good. And oh my gosh, a good bump for Faded on the defender. And who was that? I think that was Spider Man Selix. Selix looked like he had an easy save, but as it just bounced in, Faded got the bump on him. And as this opens up a big opportunity. And the ball just has to just bounce in. Um, so the only way that the Knights will really be able to find their next match, like you'll go watch their next their last matchups in Viewfest would be through the video we have coming out soon. There'll be comms from the land, and um, it should be good. I really have not started editing it though, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a second, it's gonna be a second, but you'll get it, you'll get it, you'll get to see it. And it was really good games, and, and Cedar Heights looking like a completely different machine coming off that land. Okay, the Bob, looking to cut to more, and to show how good they are now. With Bub not gonna let it happen. Bob looking at or Bub looking at them uh double, sorry. But not gonna let it happen and now Bob look at a flick. He cannot get it on his car though quite well and faded. Now look at off the backward. Oh my gosh, the angle for faded! And they reached the double digits as Sienna Heights reached ten goals in this game too. I do not know how he got that angle. That is absolutely insane. Great stuff from Faded again. Faded 11. Connect to be that save and Bob just gonna put it away and Sienna Heights did find game 2 victory here. Cedar Heights and India Tech back off. And oh, a little bit of fake. Faded. Now they can put to 11 11. To Bob. Bob can't find it. It's a little bit too hard off the backboard. Didn't expect it. But he's going to take it back here. Sienna. Look at the score again. Bob, what a beautiful air dribble. Just takes it himself. I think India Tech were expecting a pass. But not able to find it. As Bob. Beautiful drill from him. See how it's up early again. Bob is up again for a solo play. Gets a flip reset. Get the shot! But still, like, is there. Pricks it well. And in attack, looking pretty strong in this first half, defense wise. Or this first, this first part of this third game. Wait, back passes to Bob. Bob passed up with us. That was a final touch. Oh, that's a good touch from 11. Gonna give it to Bob. Bob now keeping on it. Looking for Fade. Fade downfield. 11 pre jumps to 11. Tries to get it, but he can't quite get it to Fade. Now Silex is gonna have a chance downfield. 
Bub does well to deny though. And Bob does get a clear Bub. He's gonna have to get up for that. He does, but Bob's gonna be right there ready for it. And if I had the shot, Bub still able to keep it out. Somehow, India Tech are still one goal down instead of two. Eleven. Oh, a great touch from him to get around. Acrobatics of the air. And just master ball control from his senior height side. But India Tech holding on well. Much better than the first and second games. And oh my gosh! 11 to Bob! And Bob able to find the shot. What a masterclass from Sienna Heights. Faded. Gets it to 11. 11. Puts it straight to Bob. So quick with the pass. I don't know how they just did that. Absolutely insane chemistry from Sienna Heights here. I don't know how you can just do that and act like nothing happened. It's 11. Tries to pass it another time to his teammate, but still trying to keep it away from India Tech here. Faded. Now looking for a double. Faded to Bob. Bob puts it away again. And Sienna Heights is linking up perfectly, keeping it away from his India Tech side. And just the fact that Faded is able to keep with that ball is insane. Sienna Heights. Just on top of the, the competition right now. India Tech, such a great team too, but I mean today, there's it's just so hard to keep up the pace of Siena Heights. Oh, Faded does well to read that again. Tries to dunk it in, but cannot. And Bub, he's gonna have a clear, but it's gonna be straight to 11. 11, let's get this, Faded. Pre jumps on the ceiling, same with Bob, but I don't think 11 got the touch he wanted, and but Bub is gonna be able to have a chance here. But with a shot, and it's gonna find its way in. That's one goal back for India Tech, and India Tech really stepping up here. I mean, a lot of goals look like they've been hopeless to save, but it's it's so hard to save for some of the Sina Heights shots, and Bub is able to find a good save, a couple of good saves, and a good shot there, but the, in the first goal of the game for India Tech. And Bob does put them in the faded, but faded can't quite find the shot. Eleven off backward. Does get a flick. Bob trying to put this to faded now. Faded does get a touch across the backboard. He's gonna try to touch it again. Doesn't follow. Swakes it for Bob. But Bob, what a great save again for Bub. Bub, what a great player for the attack today. And he's been a force everywhere on the field. And it's obvious why I remember and people remember Bub's name is because he, he is such a menace everywhere on the field. Faded back up in the air. Faded. Touch to 11. 11 off the scene. Tries to touch it back into Faded, but doesn't quite get the hard touch that he wants into him. See the heights. Might just be happy with the win here and not trying to get too many goals. Just because any attack are playing so well on defense, but as I say that, Faded finds open space, finds a gap in the defense, and oh, Bob did create that with that demo. And Bob tries to pre jump and Plas just on the post gets caught up a little bit and Sienna Heights able to find a bigger lead here and get back the momentum for them hopefully. Ooh, that's a good pass for Faded. Bob trying to drop it down. Faded trying to turn on it again. He does keep it in the box. 11 up with him. 11. Pitch shot with Faded. But still not able to find the mark. Let's see Heights. Just pre-jumping each other and trying to pass and it's just, it looks so good. It looks like they're messing around, but they're really trying to score try to score like the best goals they can and then if they give them that much room, they're gonna take these opportunities to score these types of goals. Just because like if you give them the space, they're gonna try the best goals they can to score. The flashiest goals are usually the one that gets past the defense the easiest. Eleven opting for the boost grab there. Just looking for the backboard, and 11 tries to drop that in from a bob clear, but cannot find it. 11 and Faded were both on backboard, and they're just looking for backboard passes here as Faded tries to sneak it in from the crossbar, but cannot. And Bob just be caught out there. Doesn't pick up the ball right, but Bob trying to get this through with a flip reset. And a good bump from him too, Bob. So many bumps this whole weekend.
And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They always able to find that. A great pass for 11. And 11 now on the wall again. Bob pre-jump. Out to Bob. Bob. Crowd drop us down for one more goal for Sienna Heights. And what a last goal. God, what a good last goal it was. And it might not be the last, but really, like that, it seems like it would be, but you never know. You never know. And with that, Sienna Heights will be taking the Series 3-0 against Indiana Tech. Indiana Tech not able to find their first win, even though he played so well in this last game. I thought the whole series, okay, I lied, it wasn't the last goal. But Sienna Heights not able to find it. As Bob does find it to 11-11. Just carries the ball perfectly, and is able to find the back of the net. And there we are. Sienna Heights is able to take the series.